Hello. I am Vinul Vikwi. I have reacted on the ignorance here on YouTube regarding atheism. I will now make it clear for you why I believe that religion is unnecessary in this time and age. One thing I've heard many times is that without religion there can be no moral. There are many evidences that prove that morals still would exist. There was a scientific experiment in which two monkeys or more exactly bonobos were put in a cage next to each other. When the monkeys push a button they would get food. One got grapes which is their favorite and the other one got lettuce which they don't really like. When the one who got lettuce pressed the button he took his food and ate it. Same thing with the one who got grapes. What's interesting is that when the one who got lettuce pressed the button the second time and still got lettuce he got angry and would not eat after watching his friend getting grapes for the same action. When the one who got grapes pressed the button and got grapes he would not eat as well when he saw how angry his friend was. That action can only be explained as a moral action and as far as we know monkeys are not religious. There are atheist societies in which religion is not a big part. Sweden is a perfect example. It is one of the most humane welfare societies in the world even though the vast majority are atheists. I've also heard people say that atheism is a belief just like Christianity. That is not really true because atheism is the lack of belief. It is true that we cannot disprove God but neither can anyone prove that he exists and just because one thing cannot be disproven does not mean that you should believe it. I will illustrate with an example. Let's say that we have an ancient Chinese teapot orbiting the sun. It is impossible to disprove this teapot because we cannot make accurate measures on such a small scale so far away. Would you be able to believe in that teapot's existence just because you can't disprove it? That is how atheists reason. Just because God can't be disproven does not mean that he exists. Plus there are a number of things one can't disprove. Fairies. Apollo. Zeus. Thor. Etc. You can't disprove their existences. Only say that they are highly illogical and that not you or presumably anyone else have seen them. I've also noticed many people calling the Bible and current facts. Which means that they do not know what a fact is. A fact is a theory that has been scientifically proved by empirical experiments for example. An apple falls to the ground when you drop it. A follow-up question is then. In that case how do you know that evolution is true? As most people know. Evolution is a theory. But what is a theory? A theory is an explanation of a phenomenon which is based on scientifically evidence. A theory has to work every time without exception to keep its status. Scientists are constantly trying to disprove their own theories because that is the only way to come close to the truth. If religion is a science like many of you believe then let's treat it as a science. Let's presume that everything in the Bible is false. How can you come up with empiric data and arguments that says it is not false? It is impossible and therefore religion is neither a theory nor a fact it is simply religion. Something you need faith to believe in. Many wonder how the beginning of the universe and our lives can be explained by science. If one really wants to know the answers then look it up. Look up Richard Feynman, Brian Cox, Michio Kaku and Richard Dawkins for example. They have the answers that you seek. Science may not be able to answer all questions. But scientists are working on it and many questions that I've heard have already been answered. So why is religion unnecessary? Religion is a heritage from earlier times. It is an attempt to answer the big questions in the world. But that is not needed anymore since we've got science to answer our question. Religion also functioned as a sort of law code but since we've got real laws we do not need it anymore. That was all for now. Have a nice day slash night slash evening slash morning.